Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Anne. This is Centralutions underscore M-E. And we talk about affordable fragrances here. So if that's the kind of thing you like to watch or listen to, then you are in the right place. Guys, I have been away for two weeks. I can't believe it. I just was overwhelmed with all the things happening around me. So many things to figure out at work, at home. I did not have time to film. And I missed filming and talking to you guys about perfume. So here we are today. We're going to be talking about... 15 vanilla perfumes in my collection if you follow me on my other channel Centolutions, where i talk about more mainstream designer and a sprinkling of niche fragrances last year was my year of vanillas i was just on an exploration mission to find my perfect vanilla i don't know if i succeeded but i did encounter a lot of beautiful vanilla perfumes so this year, I'm doing the same with my Middle Eastern collection and a subscriber actually recommended that I share, you know, some favorite vanillas. So these are like 15 vanillas. I'm not really doing it in any order. These are just 15 that I know have the note of vanilla and I think you will be interested in. So let, let's get right into it, shall we? So today we're starting with Ajwad from the house of Latafa. I really enjoy this bottle. It's so pretty. This is a spicy vanilla. Smells like Rose's Vanille. I believe this is a dupe for or is inspired by Rose's Vanille by Mansera. So this one has your fruity notes in the opening. It's got jasmine, roses, cinnamon in the mid. And then there's woods, vanilla, amber, musk at the base. But what you will get the most from this is some roses, some vanilla, lots of musk, and a whole lot of that fruitiness as well as spices. So the cinnamon, that spiciness comes through in this to a large degree. So that's Ajwad by Latafa. Definitely a quote-unquote rose vanilla type of fragrance. And one that if you're somebody who loves the Roses Vanille DNA, you will definitely like this one. So this is like Roses Vanille, but a more spicy version that will be suited to the Middle Eastern fragrance market. Now today, I'm not going to be going into notes and um, too much detail in terms of technicalities of the perfume. I'm just really talking about what the perfumes smell like or what they have that sort of thing. I don't want to get into too much detail so that we can run through our 15 perfumes as quickly as possible. Okay, another one that toes that Roses Vanille line is to pose that Roses Vanille direction. So it feels like they have the same DNA. So there's vanilla, there's roses, there's white florals in this one, but then it's powdery. There are also some yellow florals in there. And then there's a coconut note as well. It's really musky too. So there's a coconut note, there's an orange blossom note, and that sort of makes it smell a little different from your Roses Vanille. So it almost feels like this is like Roses Vanille, but a little more white florals with the Roses Vanille DNA. Next up, we have the more musky vanilla fragrances. I'm going to start with Kaed Alpha Sun. Kaed Alpha Sun is a very musky vanilla with some white florals, I believe. This is really, really musky, super musky. So if you don't like a musky fragrance, this is not for you. Very powdery, very musky. Has a little bit of a Vaseline smell. The powder. So it's somewhere between the scented Vaseline and like baby powder and luxury powder. It just smells like powder. Very powdery. <laughs> really, really powdery. But with vanilla and a touch of white florals as well. Now, this one is one that... You, you have to like powderiness to be able to enjoy this. But it's nice for somebody who really likes a powdery fragrance. I find it to be more very feminine. Yeah, very feminine and very suited to more um, afternoon type outings. Yes, I would say that this is a year-round fragrance. But because of the vanilla, it does have like a warmth 
to it that can sort of help you in the cold weather. So yeah, Kaid Alpha San, another vanilla bomb, but more of a musky vanilla. Another musky, 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 fruity vanilla is Anna Abied, I Am White. So this one is a very fruity, musky vanilla with some amber at the base. It is really, really fruity really fruity it's supposed to be mirroring eba pura so this is a dupe for zerzhov's eba pura so if you like fruitiness if you like muskiness with your vanilla this will do this has great longevity yard but if you put this on your clothes it gets very very screechy scratchy musky so you need to be mindful of that but if you're looking for a fruity musky vanilla and at the end, I am white. Is it for you? Okay, next up, we have, I would say the gourmands. Yes, we have like the gourmand type vanillas. And I'm just a cacao vanilla type of perfume. This is a very cozy one. Gives you that chocolatey feel. I believe there's some tonka at the base of this one as well. This has a very sharp, would I say synthetic note in the opening that can sort of throw you off a bit? It's one of those ones that you need to give time to settle. You also need to give it time when you spray it to sort of settle in so that you can get the full essence of the fragrance. So if you're looking for your chocolatey, warm, cozy, cold weather type of Middle Eastern fragrance, never is it i mean it's taken the fragrance world by storm in the last year so everybody has been talking about this if you're looking for your chocolatey vanilla this is it for you next up again in that gourmand line we've got choco musk guys look how far i've gone with this perfume this is my nighttime scent again another chocolate musky type of vanilla this is very sweet this is for people who have a perfume sweet tooth so very cozy very warm very enveloping is the type that you want to wear when you just want to feel really really cozy again chocolatey but i i kind of prefer this to nebra for some reason i like the way the chocolate is done here so it's really nice chocolatey very warm enveloping kind of perfume and it's also got some vanilla in it Next up, we have a caramel vanilla with some food, and that is Ragba by Latafa. Um, did I mention that Choco Musk is by Al Rehab? I don't know if I also mentioned that Nebras is from Latafa, so just mentioning it in case I missed the, those details. So yeah, Ragba is, oh God, I love this gourmand so much. This is like, it smells like caramel. You know how realistic caramel will smell like anytime i wear this perfume i literally can picture caramel being poured out of a container like that drippy gooey sticky feel i kind of get that picture whenever i use ragba ragba is your vanilla sugar wood incense musk with some sandalwood it is to me a very realistic caramel scent very very realistic this is sugary tooth achingly <laughs> sweet this is very very sweet so if you don't like sweet perfumes you won't like this a lot of people love this but it's also really polarizing because there are people who say they get a a, a what do they say they get from this again a scent like um saliva from this i don't get that but i know some people have mentioned that so be mindful but to me I can never go wrong with ragba, and I use it a lot for layering. So this is a caramelly vanilla. Okay, now I'm moving on to my lavender vanillas, right? I'm going to start with this one. Thara Gold is just one of my most beautiful lavender vanillas. I love this. It reminds me of Libra, the intense version. It is so pretty. It has just, it's just, it feels very, very elevated. I mean, for the price. I believe this is under 
40 usd yes because i know people who have bought it abroad and it's under 40 usd god this is so affordable the amount of juice you get it doesn't have the longevity of the original libra and co it's not even the same smell but it's the same type of lavender vanilla vibe let me use that word vibe so i'm not saying that this is a dupe for libra no so don't misquote me please but i'm just saying that if you like a lavender vanilla type of perfume this is it is really nice especially for the price i totally enjoy thawa gold i think it's worth trying if you like a lavender vanilla perfume another one that is also in that direction is vu elegante by emir and this is Paris corner now this one is supposed to be modeled after Zerzhov's Naxos 1861 and I'm going to do a separate video I know I've been saying I'll make that video for a while and I just haven't gotten around to doing so so this one is again another lavender vanilla but this has tobacco in it so I think there's also vetiver if I remember just give me a minute to um to check for the notes because i don't have the notes for this one of heart i don't know it by heart but yes there's a citrus in this one there's lavender in it as well it has a vanilla element to it and it's got like a tobacco element to it too there's also a clean jasmine note in the middle and some tonka so this is again lavender vanilla giving you that sense of your typical lavender vanilla dna but this one sorry it doesn't have vetiver so just confirming that but you know it gives you a richness to the fragrance it's very unisex leaning you know it's very it's a very powerful type of perfume this is one that i would wear to a board meeting because it, it kind of sort of projects a lot of power it's not a fragrance that is shy in any way shape form it is there it is outspoken and you know like i said it's been compared to zerzhov's naxos which i'll talk about in another video but it is that vanilla type of fragrance that you want when you want to make a statement okay now next up we have um the ouds right we have the ouds so i'm going to start with shegaf oud now this is your vanilla, there's praline, there's rose, there's oud. So you know the drill with Shegaf oud. People have um, compared this one to oud bouquet from Lancome. This is a very sweet oud vanilla rose. Very, very, very sweet and it's a powerhouse. So if you're not good with powerhouse scents, if you don't like a scent that announces you leaves a trail and is and can be considered obnoxious by some, then you may not like this. This has saffron, oud, rose. You know, it's a very powerful fragrance with praline and vanilla. So if you're looking for an oud-based vanilla, then that's it. Okay, another one in that direction as well is Sheikh Al Shuk. Sheikh Al Shuk is a very spicy, woody, amber vanilla with caramel, cinnamon, saffron, some rose, and patchouli. So, this one is very, very sweet as well and very spicy. So, the whole lot of cinnamon in this one. If you don't like cinnamon, you won't like it. But there's a caramel note that makes this really, really sweet. There's a vanilla that makes it very, very warm. There's, you know, ambroxan in this. There's amber. There's saffron that sort of gives it that Middle Eastern feel. So, it's a very complex scent. It's one that again very very powerhouse type of scent if you don't like strong fragrances if you don't like your fragrances to literally overpower you then shake out shuk is not for you this is the luxe edition by the way so this one is another type of vanilla with so a ornament parfum from afnan now this is a very interesting bottle this is very fruity. It's supposed to be mirrored after Olympia Intense. So it's a fruity floral. There's orange blossom, amber, musk and vanilla in this as well. There's also coconut in this too. 
so i mean if you like that kind of fruity very floral but with musk vanilla amber to give it some warmth and depth at the base then this is for you like i said orange flower as they described it is a major player in here it does smell a bit like olympia intense i've actually done a comparison of those videos maybe i'll link it in the description hopefully i remember yeah but it is really beautiful this is elegant beautiful it's a beautiful lovely vanilla that i feel you can really wear anywhere and in any weather to be honest so ornament pore femme it is we have jazab gold um where's this from give me one minute to check <laughs> yeah, it's from Ad Al Zafaran. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Jezab Gold is supposed to be a dupe for Trezor Lanui, Lanui Trezor. So it's like a diluted version of that perfume, but similar DNA. This has some fruitiness, it has some florals in the middle. It ha it's supposed to have rose and jasmine. Now, I do not see vanilla in the notes, but I can smell vanilla in here so i'm not sure why they haven't included that but definitely a vanilla based fragrance it has that sexiness of trezor lanui it's it's a very sexy perfume it's one that gives you you know it's a very confidence inducing easy reach sexy type of perfume so next up we have rave la femme pure desire this is a vanilla with florals and some woods. I believe there's also there might be some citrus in this as well. This perfume surprised me very recently because I reviewed it earlier on on my channel and then I sprayed it very recently. Through somewhere between the 15 to 30 minute mark, it went through a phase where it started to smell like Rosendo Matthews number no. five. And so if you've used this perfume before and you know RM number no. five, please let me know if you experienced that because I did. It didn't stay throughout. So it wasn't Rosendo Mateo from start to finish, but it did get to a point where it smelled to my nose like Rosendo Mateo number no. five. And I found that really, really interesting. So yeah, Rave La Femme Pure Desire. This is, it doesn't last so long, but it's strong. Like I feel a man can pull this off. A man who likes sweet florals with vanilla, he will be able to pull this off. So the last perfume for today is from the Emir Factory ed Edition series. And that's this one. It's called Just Bergamot. I believe it's duping a Lelabo fragrance, um, Bergamot something from Lelabo. Now, this one is Bergamot, Vetiver, Grapefruit, Orange Blossom, Pedigree, Amber, Musk, Cedar, and Vanilla. Now, this perfume is very citrusy. Okay, so if you are not a citrus lover, you're not going to like this one at all. Okay, so it's Bergamot 22, I just confirmed. That's the Lelabo fragrance that this is duping. Now, I haven't smelled that, so I can't say in comparison, but I must say that this perfume really took me by surprise. Honestly, it started off very citrusy, very green, you know, it has grapefruit, and that grapefruit note is really realistic honestly it does smell very realistic and then it settles into like a woody musky vanilla so you don't expect it to go into that type of warm soft musky enveloping base but it does and that was the part of this perfume that surprised me so if you can see the dent because I feel like it's one that I can wear on a hot day. It has that very refreshing feel. But then somewhere out of nowhere, when it dries, you get some warmth. And I, I enjoyed that about this fragrance. So, yeah, these are 15 vanilla perfumes that I would say that I somehow enjoy in my collection. Now, some of them are loves. Some are not necessarily loves, but they are good perfumes. Might not be loves for me because maybe I don't like one note or another. But I know that for the most part, based on people I've interacted with and all that, they love these perfumes. So, there you have it, guys. Let me know if you have any of these perfumes. Let me know if you like them. Let me know what other vanilla-based perfumes you 
you have or you like and till i see you on another video enjoy the rest of your day or night bye guys